I always forget how fucking great this wait, intro Oh, wait, is. wait. Have you heard the new one? Have you heard the new one? Wait, wait for the new one. Episode 77. From Shrooms to Skyrim. With nothing. Let it my god feel it What the fuck it's hitting son with Matthew and Harem Who did that Carlito Carlos motherfucking Carlos motherfucking Carlos Carlos kills it dude I've known Carlos forever, and we had him on the podcast, and he's had a great time, and we've kept bringing him back, and he's one of the funniest people I've ever fucking met in my entire life. Like, one of those people, like, that when I'm in a room, I shut the fuck up and watch, you know what I'm saying? Like, where you have to respect and how funny Carlos he is. Carlos is a proud car carrying member of the Bald Coalition. Yes, he is, okay. and he has been for a while. <laughs> he has been for a while. But and uh, this is episode 77 of From Shrooms to Skyrim with Matthew and Hiram. This show neither about Skyrim or about shrooms. Those are just the motherfucking parameters. And this episode is brought to you by Sandbar, Coconut Grove, 3064 Grand Avenue, Miami, Florida, 33133, home of the motherfucking fish taco. You heard me? Taco Tuesday, Whiskey Wednesdays, Ladies Night Thursday. 35 different beers on tap. 22 different big screens. Come watch the NBA playoffs. Your Miami Heat is in the Eastern Conference final. Sun taking on the Boston Celtics. We don't even have to tell you how big this rivalry already is. Okay. Let's go out there. Support your local team. Support your local community. Swing by Sandbar. And this episode is brought to you by The Last Carrot at 3133 Grand Avenue. They're open Monday through Saturday, 1030 a.m. to 6 p.m. And Sundays from 11 to 430 p.m. 11 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Family-owned, fresh, wholesome eats since 1975. Family-owned, where they serve garden-fresh pita sandwiches and fresh veggie juices. Check them out. Last carrot. Last carrot. This is episode 77. Seven. I don't know where that, that arc is. Seven. 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 77. <laughs> um, which is, it's, uh, it's like serendipitous, you know what I'm saying? Because... I'm like 90% sure that uh-huh. the last time you were here, Mikey, yeah. it was episode 49. Okay. And I was like seven sevens. And now here we are, episode 77. Ah, look at you know, that. You know what I'm saying? It's just. Look at that. Spicy. I feel it. Numerology. Yeah. You did some multiplication yeah. math on us there. I like it. Nice. That. And Universal we got strength. the number one insurance agent in the motherfucking world. Oh. Jojo, Joshua. We're here, baby. How you doing, brother? Nice to meet you all. Nah, good to have you. Good to have you, sir. Nomadic for a while. Oh, well, that's good. You guys went to high school together, right? Yep. Ah, nice, nice, nice. Listen, brother. And then he's Uh, he's super tight with Carlos. Okay, other Carlos. Hold on, hold on, because I I just I I just want to say I want to shot it out right now. Like, put the camera on him. Put the camera on him. I want you to put the camera on this guy right there. You see that dolphin patch? I like it, baby. I'm calling it now. Look. Look at me. Are we doing a 17-game season or are we doing a 16-game season? 17-game 17-game season. season? I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to tell you right now. 12 and 5. 12 and 5. 12 and 5. I'm calling it right now on this show, 12 and 5, baby. That's how I feel about this it team. It feels this right. I'm not going to lie. It feels, I, it feels, feels right. good, it feels right? right? It feels, it feels right. good to say 12 and 5. I mean, is it going to happen? I wouldn't have come in here saying that, <laughs> but it feels good. It feels good. When you said it, it feels good. Feels good, baby. It does. You know, 12 and 5. It's it not does. more than likely not going to happen. And the last time I said, <laughs> and the last time I predicted anything, it's a possibly Ryan maybe. Tannehill had an ACL tear the second preseason game, I think, right? It was the second of the first preseason game. Mm-hmm. So I should probably keep my mouth shut at predicting, you know, because I'm kind I of a jinx. <laughs> defer my opinion to the, to the residential expert, JoJo. Jojo and Jojo, what do you think? What Jojo, we're putting you on the spot right now. Season on the line. Okay. How's 12 and 5 sound? That's what is, what are you calling it right now, Jojo? I'm gonna go 
Ten and seven. Ten and seven. Ten, ten seven, seven might still win the ten seven. And ten, we ten, still, ten seven. We we're in the playoffs. playoffs. Might, we're there. Yeah. We're in the wild card. I'm just not calling us yet. Oh my god. Buffalo is just. Jojo, too nasty. you're taking the fucking wins out of my sales, bro. I'm just well, right. yeah, because I was about to say we'll win the division, but then I remembered Buffalo exists. Ah, Buff- <laughs> I was like, that's another thing. Well, I, I, we'll see what happens. With uh, Buffalo. Well, since you guys mentioned Buffalo, uh, I just want to say our, our hearts go out to the her, uh, the families and community. Affected by, uh, the, oh, I heard about this. The goddamn yeah. disease that is uh, white supremacy terrorism. <clears throat> Another mass shooting, correct? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, I am not aware. Please uh, uh, inform me. Yeah, I I literally yeah. just found out about this maybe like an hour before I got here. I've, I I've been so unplugged. I saw the video. Oh, and dude, it was just devastating. Yeah. Well, cause the the motherfucker. Uh, not only did he live stream it on Twitch. What? Yeah. So he did the same shit that the that the dude in New Zealand he, did in in Christchurch. He 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 also he also put out like a motherfucking manifesto uh like beforehand. This is ridiculous, man. Uh, this is like uh, With the, uh what, what's what's that shit they call it like the 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 fucking replacement shit or whatever. What do you mean? Like it's all about how like white birth rates are too low, so right. Like the Jews will not replace us. Oh, kind of that. Oh, oh. Right. So like like legit white supremacy. Okay. Well, I mean, you know, Dude, listen, man. He had on the live stream. He has the fucking n word on the end of his AR. <sighs> listen, man. I. <laughs> It's I I I, I, here's, here's, I honestly though what I, what's, I, I, what's I wasn't the gonna say I wasn't gonna problem. say anything at the at the beginning of the episode but like just since you guys were what? mentioning like Buffalo the team like I, I couldn't just let it I, and, I, and I'll tell you this as somebody who does not like the Buffalo Bills as a franchise <laughs> at I like all, how you turned it back okay does well, not then. like the Buffalo Bills franchise at all I will tell you this their fans are legitimately some of the best fans. In the entire world, oh, yeah. okay, uh, yeah, they no they give to charities of other opposing teams all of the time. They I, like I could say whatever I want about the team or whatever, and the fact that they waxed our asses Ooh. in the '90s, and they're probably the reason why Dan Marino doesn't have a Super Bowl trophy. That's neither here nor there. Okay, their fans are excellent, and what that city is going through is absolutely horrible, and they should not have gone through that. I don't know enough about the situation. Yeah, can the, we can we lay that out for the, a second? Yeah, just because like, I, 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 so I the my, guy, my 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 thinking behind this. <laughs> is so it, the the guy drove about three hours. Apparently, he'd been scoping out this specific uh, supermarket, and I believe East Buffalo. And he went there. A uh, supermarket. Yeah, it was a grocery store. Oh my god, um, dude! Yeah. He went there. Body ar- he, body armor, body armor. Families are in there, man. Body armor, AR, and then because there was a retired police officer who's a security there, right, who also got killed, that shot him. But it got him in the body armor, so he just killed him and kept going. Oh my god! And then I don't want to watch it, man. I really don't want to watch it. I'm good right now. I don't want to watch Thank it. Thank you though. Uh, I I can't watch stuff well, like that. I watched the Daniel Pearl well, beheading. Well, it's, and it it's just like it's my like life. it's like you, you, you gotta you gotta uh, you gotta caution it out the way it is. You know what I'm saying? Like this is terrorism. Oh no, this is 100. percent That's literally what terrorism is. This is like, and it's like you can't. Is he dead? No, he's taken into uncustody completely. Are you fucking kidding completely me? Un- are you are you fucking kidding me? Completely unscathed. Are you at, are, what the fuck? The police approached him while he was still armed. Dude, I, I mean, I like and they and they get this in in the live stream, right? Is 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 I've seen the video. He he's pulling up on someone uh like in between the checkout aisles. Is a is a older looking white dude who's like, you know, cries out and falls on the floor. He sees it's a white guy, says sorry, and moves on. Jesus fucking Christ! I mean, I mean, I, honestly, like I, my heart just goes out to We're like, for you, like yeah, man, You're like, in our like, yeah, man, that, that, 
Just know that we're praying for you. There's a there's no word like, and all the families that are hurt. It's it's ridiculous, man. It it, it when are we gonna like? But you know what? Let me let me <laughs> watch this. <laughs> What, what if what if what if we just for a second, and not to condone anything, but what if we just for a second took it from the other side, right, and said, okay, can we? Is it possible to take it from the other side? Not not to condone it, not to make it seem as if it's good, but is it is is, is it possible? Is, is it is it a good exercise? It's, it's impossible to say. For example, it's impossible. That's that's I that's believe, an idi- I, I believe it is too. That's an idiotic but, notion. You it, is the, there the a cast way? out of the bag. There's no way to do that. There's no way to do that. uh, You know what the way to do that is? Nuclear Holocaust. Like breaking people down into legitimate small social bands with no intercommunication across any kind of certain. Like my my question would be just very generally, not again, not to but does race matter? In other words, no. I, I would, I would, by the way, everything I'm saying right now, I would argue against. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm literally You're just playing, playing devil's I'm advocate. I'm literally playing devil's advocate. Okay. Right? So I'm saying, I'm saying, but because, you know, does race Race matter? doesn't exist. Does tribe no. matter? Well, tribe right? does matter. Okay. Tribe so, does and matter. And that's kind of what I'm talking about. Tribe does matter. And tribe and, and race does, are, wait, wait, hold on. this is the problem. Is hold that on. Because it does, it breeds these types of things. I would argue without playing devil's advocate, I would argue that tribe does not matter. It does not matter in the sense that it, that, it, that it needs to be something that we should be worried about. It does matter in the sense that it exists. It matters in the sense that there's a shared uh, obligation within a close-knit group to actually educate and, 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 right. and procreate. And, and Create and be, society. Correct. However, right? Because tribe matters. It's not that, that it's not that tribe matters. Is that procreate? Is that all the things I just said matter? Procreation matters. Right, but caring matters. It's not about the tribe. Here's the problem: is that if you find somebody who actually cares enough about tribe, and sees that that tribe is going to go away, then it almost seems an innate reaction from some to want to protect that in a way that may not be very fucking sensical or good. Oh. Again. Not defending it, just saying. Can I just? This can is I, why can tribe I, should not matter. Can I? Can I? <laughs> can I rebut? Can I rebut on that? Yeah. Do you guys mind if I rebut real quick on that? Yeah. Okay. So, my response to that is that race does not matter because race is not a real thing that exists. Race is race is something that we have created, and that somehow we have all decided like money is a real thing, but is not a real thing. We are all literally one species. Oh, that's correct. We are all, li- there's scientifically, Fuck. however fact. you want to cut it, we, all we are red, all baby. one species. We all so if you, take, we all if you take the idea that you are all one species, then tribe does matter if you apply that correctly. Uh, that is fair because then we're all one, one. tribe. That's when you, correct. When you and the problem tribe, is the problem is that tribe. tribe is a group of people, okay, working together for the betterment of all of the groups of people okay. that they're that they're in. Correct. Okay. And that would be a better definition. It is the definition, is the correct definition. What I but hold what, on. What, hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. If you understand if you understand that we are all a part of a tribe and we're all part of the <coughs> same tribe, here's the problem. Not only have we convinced ourselves that race is a real thing. I'm with you, brother. Okay. Not only have we done that, we've convinced ourselves. We teach it. Uh-huh. We teach it. We legitimately teach that race is a real thing, even though race is not a real thing at all. Okay. Uh-huh. On top of that, we teach that imaginary lines on a map are a real thing. <laughs> That, that, that there is a line that you can't see that makes those people different from you somehow. And that... Well, I think it's is a little bit deeper than that. Differences do matter. No, I, but I, differences I do matter. Differences and I'm, matter a I'm lot say, more than tribe does. I'm not... What I'm saying is, is that if everybody agrees that they're all one part of one thing, then we accept everybody's part of what they are. Oh sure, that would be the yes. That is a, that is the utopic idea. Yeah, but right? to, that to, would be amazing. But the point you're saying is far off here. Like reality is still here. Like it's. I think it's unrealistic to even think. Like that's like thirty steps away. 
Uh, you, you, you're, not, you're not even on the first step well, uh, to get on, to acknowledging on. that. But, yeah. but the only way, the only way that, uh, first of all, the only way that any of this ever happens, the only way that any of this ever happens, and I have to acknowledge this, is that there has to be a universal shift in consciousness of all people on the planet. And for that to happen would literally have to be something that would be a global event, something that affected all of us See, equally. I don't, I don't all even, I'm, I don't even think along those lines anymore. Yeah, I can't, because I, can't. I think it's so unrealistic. Yep. That's never going to happen. I think you're out of your mind if you think that that is an dude. Unrealistic look at COVID. Thing. Look at COVID. That's, that's not what I'm look talking at the reaction about. with COVID. That was that was a about. global event. That's not what I'm talking. And about. humanity did what they always do. That's not what I'm talking about. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about. I'm talking about the legit fact that we live in a shooting gallery. A shooting gallery of which we only see less than one percent oh, of. We are a floating rock so much in less. infinite space. Yes. We have no idea yes. what's fucking coming next, dude. Like none. That's a serious issue. But to go, but, but to go back to the, the point that that I think I was trying to make is that, like, so for example, okay, let's we use words like tribe. We use words like race. We can certainly just deconstruct all that shit. How about this? Right? Why is it that when you have a child and a wife or, or, or a significant other or whatever, what is it about family? Let's call the let, let's let's use the word family instead of tribe, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. That that you would definitely, if a chaos if chaos was happening, you would definitely by nature nature you just try said to try to prevent the chaos for the people who are the closest to you you just said it right you just said it versus the people who are not now if in your theory or in uh, whatever or in your if in your statement we're all one tribe then i i the ability for me to make a decision between saving the stranger on the street versus my daughter on the street should be ha should have equal weight but it doesn't it doesn't it just doesn't, it doesn't. It doesn't. Okay, it doesn't. so the ones you love mean more okay, to you. And so, the, and so I mean, that's going back to the point of the of, of, of again, not not defending and not just to play the devil's advocate, right? If somebody feels that way, okay, about their race, right? There is there is a certain psychology there that it doesn't need to be respected in any way. It doesn't need to be honored in any way. As a matter of fact, fuck them to the highest ends of to be fucked. But it is a psychology. It is a thing. It is a way in which they're thinking that is the same as the way that we're thinking about our daughters in that moment. It is that way. I'm not saying it's right, but it is that way. And that's what that, that when that guy, when you told me that thing about that guy, oh, he saw the white person on the ground. And then he was like, that's what he's thinking. He's thinking the same that, that I would be thinking about my daughter because he's thinking about that person the same way. And no, that, that I, mentality I, is I tribal. Think, no. I, think, that is I, think, tribal. I think it's completely different. And it's wrong you're talking about from a place of love. That guy's coming from a place of hate. Yeah. But I think, I so think he may you, have been You're looking at it like love. it might seem similar because those are both two strong emotions or whatever. Yeah, but though, that, I think, I think it's, a, it's a completely different thing. He's just yep. a fucking... Uh, he thinks, the guy thinks I'm it's thinking, love. I'm saying he the thinks that. The guy thinks that, that it's I'm, love. We the, know that we, it's not. No, he doesn't, he doesn't even think it's love. He well, doesn't know what but, love is. But he he's, stopped. He didn't a, kill that a, person. He's a fucking warped psycho. But he, he didn't belongs. kill that person. He didn't so, kill the white guy. He didn't kill him. So then here's the question. So then here's the question for you if you think like that, right? Okay. This is... The... Would you kill baby Hitler? Right. That's a great. That's exactly. Would it. you kill baby Hitler? That's it. That's a. You great You know question. what he's going to do. You have all of the information of what he's going to do. Would you kill baby Hitler? As a baby. Okay, but why not? No, that's not the question. Would you? No. First of all, right. we'll get. We'll, I can get into that. But why? Why? But would you? Would you actually go back and fucking do whatever to that baby to kill that baby? Would right. you do that? Would you kill baby Hitler? It's it's. It, you know what he's going to do. Right. You have all of the information. You you can stop. You can literally stop a genocide. Yep. My question is, does that, as horrible as this sounds, historically, does that genocide need to happen? Well, I don't know. You brought that to an interesting place. That's fair. I like that argument. It's an interesting uh, one. Like, just as a historical, like, like was where, where, do we, but, but where do we end up after all of that happens? No, like, to, to historically, me, where, where do we end up as a country, as a world, yeah, after uh, World War II? I don't like that argument at all. No, I, I would say more. I would say it's more. I think that that question is predicated more on the idea that you're killing a baby, and the, and the reason why that matters is because there's always the potential 
for you to be wrong about the information that you have received. So that even if you go back in time and you have an actual time machine and you go back in time, maybe even the fact that you went back in time might change the trajectory of Hitler being a baby, you know? So there's always that question in humanity as to like, I what do we do? you know. Snuff, oh, oh, I, I, would, I would strangle I the fuck, bro. I would, I would, I would, I would fucking, I, I would fucking wear his skin as a fucking puppet. It's, it's I out. would fucking, I, I'd make him the next snuff. Fucking. Did you, did you ever see the the? He'd Deadpool, be on Sesame Street in my fucking hand. Deadpool ending. Oh yeah, D- didn't he do that? So what happened was that they showed that at the Deadpool ending that he went back in time and fucking snuffed baby Hitler, and they were like, even the studio was like, all right, that's too much. So they were like, oh, that's too much. Cool. Well, just give it to the people in the extra credit scenes. Yeah. <laughs> and so, like, you can actually watch it still. Dude, there, Brian Reynolds is too fucking much, man. That he, guy he, is, he rocks, bro. I mean, he, he fucking, fucking rocks. Cracks me up. All right, listen, we've gotten a little too crazy on this podcast already. All right, hey, let's bring it in. Sometimes you gotta... You, let's you just, just reel gotta, it in. You just gotta let's talk reel about it in. We're talking about killing baby Doesn't Hitler. You agree. All right? Doesn't this is not the podcast agree. for that kind of thing. Just don't be a weirdo about it, you know? You I mean, say, is it? Is what it about this? this? It's, it's from Shumsa Skyrim. What about this? <laughs> well, I think when you get to brass tacks. What about <laughs> Should you kill him or should you abort him? Mm. I think the same person <laughs> might might <laughs> might uh, answer that differently. Bro, I'll tell you what. I saw a sign. I'll tell you what. I saw a sign at a rally. That, that, I saw a, a good, sign at a rally. A and whatever chick made this sign, fucking kudos to her. She said, she said, if if uh, me having an abortion is murder, then me giving you a blowjob is cannib- cannibalism. Cannibalism. And I was 100%. like, oh shit. <laughs> It's at least half cannibal. Oh, like, it's at least oh, half cannibal. Oh, well, no, but, but, but I do want to make this point because this is kind of where I was going with that. You just said that, right? Like another way to go about it, if you want, if, it, to go, if you're in a time machine and you go back to, to see baby Hitler, another way to go about it is, and this is going to sound fucking super like whatever psychology, like hippie, but it's also fucking fair, is that you could actually educate that person properly, maybe take that person away from its environment. Well, you know, maybe actually well, discuss you know, these can things. Can I just say person. something? And maybe no, change that person's and, fucking and actual the comics, life. In the comics. In the comics. Actually kill them. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Say it. In right. the comics. Um, stop. Stop. In the comics. The Punisher went back to, oh, kill, no. to kill, no, to kill baby Thanos. Okay. There you go. And then he couldn't do it. Okay. So he ended up raising him and Thanos did still what Thanos was going to do. In the MCU, in the MCU, there is something called uh, an infinite point. Okay. Something that has to happen in all of history and all of the multiverses everywhere. This one thing has to always happen. Is that okay? Okay. It always, it always, like there's like, there's this this one thing that always has to happen. Okay. Okay. Mm, that's the baby Hitler situation. It's like the catalyst. To yeah, the- that's the baby Hitler situation. However, can we talk? Also, morality is a <laughs> is a completely is completely a human construct. Don't start with it's constructs. Not, has, with don't you? It has no start. basis in the laws of the universe. It has none. You're absolutely right. And there's a book by Sam Sam Harris called Morality. It's called, I think it's called On Morality, but Morality. And if you get anybody who's listening to this, whatever, please check that book out. It's a great book. He taught, it's, oh, excuse me, The Landscape of Morality. No, 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 no. Anyway, he talks exactly about that. He talks exactly about how, like, there like, is a, there's like that's how you got to say with process. your pinky up. Yeah. In the landscape, In the landscape of morality. I read this book by this author, <laughs> Sam Harrison. Okay, and it I was in the landscape <laughs> of morality. I didn't say okay. I read it. Uh, I didn't say that. Uh, you don't, know, don't, don't, I didn't say I read it. I said there was a book. There is a book. I didn't, I didn't say I read it. I, I thought it was inferred, but that's my bad. My <laughs> bad. I mean, I, I, you're talking about I mean, a book I, you haven't yeah. read? Sir. Let I, me I tell didn't you. say that either. I didn't say that either. I didn't say that. I didn't say I read or did not read. Man. I'm just telling you. Oh, so it's Schrodinger's book. <laughs> the cat could be dead. It could not. <laughs> or could not be dead. It's either read or unread. Or just, at, at this point, we don't know. But I can tell you what I have done is but done to, a lot to, of research to, on that guy. To take it book. deeper, if it's unread, which makes no sense. Does that make it blue? No. What? I did just blow your mind. Is red the opposite? Your mind of blue? is blue. Well, See what I did there? It's fucking. He just ours. did a horrible, horrible grammar. Horrible grammar joke. 
That was a horrible grammar joke. But I loved it. Anyway, so in the book, he talks about the, the evolution of man. Physical evolution actually is the thing that creates morality. So you're right. It is a construct, but he lays it all out. He talks exactly about how that works and, and, why, and why it's true. It's not inside. I mean, it's not outside in. It's inside out. That's all, everything is inside. Morality out. has to be something. Nothing that, is outside. Morality in. has to be something well, that like socially we agree on as a group of people. Like rules. Morality rules have to be like, like thou shalt not fuck thy neighbor's wife is a really good rule. You know what I'm saying? Like I mean, across all boards. It doesn't matter if you're Jewish or Christian or Buddhist. Like you probably shouldn't bang rule. your neighbor's wife. That's probably that's a, a really bad call. Rule. You know, that's a good rule, right? Like those are morality rules, it right? Depends, like those are across bro. the like, board. Like who's your neighbor? Like is, is he a fucking... I mean, I'm just saying, bro. Absolute like, asshole. I love you, <laughs> but if you bang does my wife, need, you and me are going to have a fucking problem. Does she need help? You know, I don't know. Maybe she like... Why are you, you asking if my wife needs help, <laughs> no, dog? <I'm> <laughs> Maybe she slipped a note. What know? the fuck, man? <laughs> she ain't slipping you no no. Help, help <laughs> what the fuck? I, mean, I don't know. She's slipping you a note? <laughs> no. She's not slipping me a note. No, I know she ain't slipping you no no. Uh, listen. Now, if it's some guy that's not your neighbor, it's okay then? No, it's not okay, dude. It's not okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. Unless she's... Like, it's a, okay. here's no. here's the thing here's here's I a need help. here's a here's a early <laughs> here's an early lesson that I learned in my life here's an early yeah, right. here's an early lesson that I learned in my life I'm a good Samaritan I I had <laughs> I had what was unbeknownst to me an affair at 18 years old with a 35 year old woman who I did not know was married at the time or nor that she was 35 years old to be perfectly honest with you I met her at a bar and it did not seem like she was 35 years old. We had okay, so you're uh, a victim. So we well, yeah, we had a couple. We had a cut. Yeah, no, I'm a victim for real. Listen to this. Uh, we had a couple. He's a uh, victim, you know, of his own this, perception. This was this was before. <laughs> I like that. This was before everybody had a cell phone, so she had a beeper, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I, so fuck Yo, you, the, man. Why, why are the why are the young people? Yeah, man, why are like the young laughing, people laughing bro. at the word beeper? Yo, they're like laughing. All you have to say was the word beeper. So I'm like, oh, I, uh, I, I call the beeper. I, I, call, I, I call the beeper. I leave my number. Right. I'm like, all right, she'll call me back. She called. I, I think she calls me back. Right. I'm like, all right, cool. She shows up at the bar. We're hanging out. We're having a good time. We go to leave, and as we go to leave, her fucking husband shows up. Unbeknownst to you. I, I don't even know that she's married. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't... And this motherfucker... It couldn't even let be me, awkward. Let me, I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to tell you right now. I was 18 years old, and I looked at this dude's face, and I we could have tussled, and maybe I would have won. Maybe I wouldn't have. What I knew for a fact was that this dude was really, really mad that his wife was cheating on him. And I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't going to compete with that kind of strength. <laughs> so he was, he was I, I told the dude right you to did not ha You were not as emotionally invested no, in the I was situation. No, I wasn't. I wasn't. I didn't even want Wait any a second. Wait a second. You, you, you buried the lead a little bit. So he came in hot? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah? Oh, yeah. You guys were walking out of Oh, yeah, dude. Chest bumped me. Oh. Up, up, up against the wall. I'm like, yo, dog. Like, what's up? And then, like, I didn't know at first what was going right. on. So I, like, pushed him off. I'm like, oh. But, dude, I'm literally, I'm not even lying. I'm 175 pounds. I'm I'm like six five, but I'm 175 pounds. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like this pulled. dude, this dude was like six foot tall and was like a grown ass 35 year old man. Like I may have won because I've got some skill, but like mm, maybe not. Also, you were surprised, yeah. Yeah, like what the fuck was going on. And and the dude came in with smoke. Oh, dude came in with smoke, and I was like, look, I told him, I was like, look, bro. I, first of all, I don't know what the fuck is going on right now. Right. I was like, I have no idea what's. I was like, yo. And on top of that, she never said anything. You got to be careful, bro. You got to be careful when you fuck somebody's wife, man. Because you never fucking know how that guy is going to fucking react. That is true. You Ooh. never well, know how that guy is going to react. You didn't even know that you had to be yeah, careful. Yeah, well, I didn't know. But you know what I did know? After that, that was a fucking game changer for me, son. You know how, how many, many? How many more times? How many? How many more times did you fuck her? How many more times did you fuck her? None. From that moment, no, none. None. Swear to God. Good man. Swear to God. She was and calling. Was, she was calling. No, 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 no. She was not. And I wanted nothing to do with that situation. I was scared shitless, son. That is brand scared approved. shitless. Okay. I like that. 
No. It's good uh-uh. shit. Yeah, fuck that. No. But so what okay. I learned from that situation is don't fuck somebody else's wife because you don't know how that dude's going to react. And uh, you could end up dead. And there's a lot of 2020s that start like that. You watch that show? <laughs> 2020? Yeah, what is 20? Like uh, the, like the, uh, the document? Like the, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like Dateline. Yeah, like yeah, Dateline. Date date yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah. Oh. The point is, we don't have all the answers. <laughs> yeah! But. Jesus Christ, the full circle. Just be kind, you know, especially if you don't know what's going on. If you just go out, if you just wake up every day with the intent to be kind, and that's how you move, you know, that, that there's there's no reason to move maliciously. I don't, yeah. I don't understand the idea of, be, of, of having sex. The moment that I would find out that somebody is with somebody, I'd be like, I'm good. Like, is that, I don't know if that's a, a value proposition. No, for like, like, me? no, like, like, or I, if it's I, like I don't, I don't even, a person. It's, yeah, like, you're just talking about like in general, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, uh, you know, the morals. Yeah, but also morality is not just about you. Morality is also about, like, for example, if you're fucking somebody else's uh, spouse, you know what I'm saying? And you Un- know you're doing it. Oh, you know. What about, what about, what about how you feel about, th- forget about your own morals, because clearly those are already fucked. But what about like the the morality of of, of respecting the other that doesn't know? Like, what about that? It's, it's, you know what I'm that's, a, that's the problem. Well, like, maybe if that? they if they weren't because fucking you, the they would just I, be fucking someone right. else. Right. So <laughs> you're you're saving them. Yeah. From right. you're a situation right. that's full of variables. Matthew, because yeah. you Matthew, know like, what you're gonna do, and you can handle that to the best of your ability. Right. But if you're not there, yeah. Who knows what could happen? You know what? They yeah. needed a Matthew. That's they, the problem. Uh, they needed a Matthew when they were creating these fucking morals. That ooh. is an excellent idea, sir. You fucking take care of her, okay? As the side dude, you make her happy, and you're going to save that marriage. Ooh. Mm. You got to see the bigger picture. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But moving, or, I'm going to vomit or, my fucking old Or mouth. you're going to end up on Dateline 2020. Mo- mo- <laughs> moving on, there, there's, there's a new legal precedent, okay? What's going on? Okay, and Talk y'all, y'all are gonna start showing me some goddamn respect around here. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Did he say whoa, respect? Whoa, whoa. Yeah, there was that, that was a court case. Okay, hold on. Okay, it's got and that was rude. People, it was rude. <laughs> <laughs> it's got something to do with bald am people. I, am, I, am I that predictable? Yeah, fuck yeah, you are. It is sexual harassment to insult men about their hair loss <laughs> in the workplace. So, how did I tell you right now? About their hair loss. American History X, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be hearing from my lawyer, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Well, it happened because he uh there there was an uh <laughs> there was an electrician who was called a bald cunt by a factory supervisor. I think the cunt part was the problem. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and just hold on. I'm hold gonna go on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold, go, on. hold on. <laughs> My bad, but like I just watched the movie. I just watched the movie where somebody called the person. He was like, "Hey, this is a British movie." Okay, and I'm just repeating the lines here. Okay, and there's no N word. Okay, but he says <laughs> so. A white guy, <laughs> a, the a white guy. Is, what are you gonna say? What are guy, you gonna say that needs that disclaimer? Wait, hold on. A white guy. A white guy is. I'm just setting it up. I'm setting the scene up. Okay. A white guy's in no a boxing N-word. ring. I'm really nervous now. A no white N-word. guy's in a boxing ring. Okay, and he's looking at his friend who's supposed to be in the boxing ring with him training, and he's like, "Hey, you're late. You're black cunt." Right, and he goes. The black guy goes to the trainer. He goes. He can't say that. That's racist. And he goes. Nah, it's not really racist. He goes. You are black, and you are a cunt. So, <laughs> it's, uh, he wasn't I saying mean, all black people are cunts. He was saying you, in particular, in this moment, are a cunt. So I feel like maybe the bald <laughs> Wait, guys. Is that what they were? We weren't. They weren't talking about all bald guys. They were just saying that in that moment, that bald guy was acting like a cunt. Is that where the N word didn't play? Yeah, no, the N word. Good. <laughs> yeah, the N word. He literally said. Because if he would have said it, then no, that would have been no, a different I, fucking story. I would story. never, ever, ever. No, no, no. I'm not saying you. I'm saying. Oh, oh wait, no, I'm sorry. No, no, no. But he did say the N word. No, oh, he, he did. Didn't. He said black. He said black. He said black. Okay. He said black. Like he specifically. So why did you? Why did you have to put so that why did you disclaimer? Have to I just because I wanted to make sure that nobody like got upset about. 
<laughs> Why did this play if you play? hadn't said that, no one, well, no one would have been thinking about it. For a second. <laughs> Now we're fixated. Now I'm like, did nobody he say says it? the N word. Didn't he say it? Nobody says the N word. And the it? movie is called The Gentleman, and you can watch it. It's, I mean, you know, it's a Guy Ritchie movie, so you can't be sensitive about shit. No, but that's good though. Yeah, because you're black and you're a cunt. Yeah, yeah no, right? He's a, and then and then the character, the other character says he's not talking about all black people. He's talking about you, you in particular in this moment are acting like a cunt because you're not in the fucking boxing ring. Training with the guy that you're supposed to be training with. And also he may be bald and so then but apparently bald is the problem. Bald, well, I mean everybody knows bald you think, people. You think are a being bald is the problem? Yeah, apparently, uh, yeah, according apparently. to this according to this apparently. research that you did. Apparently that, you, that you, that you need all to get bald people are cunts. I'm right? Like, apparently I'm, all bald people are cunts now. Apparently. <laughs> Wait, Highly offensive. So what's the lawsuit? So the lawsuit is that you can get sued for for for, for bald shaming? Yeah. In England though. Right? Yeah, it was in the UK. Okay, so like this is really weird, dude. So like England has <laughs> England has here? like a bunch of really weird. Like, so like obviously we have free speech, right? We can say whatever the fuck we want. Do we? Okay, well, yeah. I mean, sometimes, I mean, sometimes I guess better than most. But yeah, for the most part, we have the better than most. Up until recently, <laughs> let's put it that way. Up until recently, uh, but the UK has the. You know who else has this? Canada. Ooh. They don't really have free speech. Like, like the f- founding principles of what make this country great, like the number one First oh, no, yeah. Amendment, right? Yep. Like that freedom of speech. The fact that they allow us to do this fucking podcast, right? It, that's not a thing. I mean, they're going to allow it until they actually find out about it. <laughs> that's not, but that's not a thing that's like, like, because if every- you call, if you call somebody, like, if, you know, words, I guess action over. So, like, if you say if you say something that like is hurtful towards other people or like a group of people, they can hold you for like they can they can arrest you for like liable laws or something liable in that ma- liable and something in that manner, right? Like we don't have that in this country. Like you have to really go out of your way. I don't think there's ever been a successful like. You have to go out of your way to really lie about somebody and know, and everybody know that you're lying about them in order for that to be the case. Well, it's just very tough to prove in court. Libel is one of the hardest things to, to, to prove. But free speech is not a thing that everybody has. Not even countries that we, you know. Yeah, because we were founded on concepts. We were founded on principles. We were not founded on what every, most of the other countries have been founded on, which is territory and law. Right, so so the first thing you do is you get a territory, right, and mm-hmm. then you and then you create. You plant a flag. You plant a flag. Yeah. You and, need a flag, and then you create law. And when you do it in that order, what ends up happening is is that the law basically, you know, does exactly what it should do. It, it becomes the the law of the land, right? And so therefore, everything is being everything is predicated upon the law. What we did is we created something called the spirit of the law, right? So America is built upon the spirit of the law, not the law. So the idea that Free speech is, is, is exactly that. Free speech is, is that the spirit is that everybody should be free to speak. But the reality of it is, is that what it actually protects is the worst of us. Right? Yes. So, that, that, so that, again, so that's the, that's the spirit. So the spirit is, oh, yeah, everybody can just talk freely. But that's not actually, you're never going to go to court for speaking freely. You're going to go to court or, or there's going to be a problem only if what you're, how you're speaking, right, is offensive in such a way that is so bad. So, and, they, and guess what? You'll win. Right. You'll win because it's free. That's what's great so about it. So if it's the spirit of the law. In other words, we were founded, we were, we were founded on Then principles. who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. America Busters. America. Have you seen the new Ghostbusters? Nope. I thought it was good. It was good. I thought it was good. I thought it was good too. I thought it was good. Solid, man. I thought it was good. All right. Yeah. I thought right. it was good. All right, '80s kids loving the Ghostbusters yeah, movie. I thought yeah, it was good. But uh, what's that? The actor that's in it, uh, Paul Rudd. Yeah, he's just he's great. great. He's just great. He's great. Yeah. I mean, fuck, who doesn't love? Ant-Man? It's tough. It's tough to be Paul Rudd. Yeah, I mean, to, to, to look know. at Paul Rudd and not be like, yeah, cool, I'm good. And he's so yeah. like, I mean, he's clearly sucking on baby adrenal glands and staying young forever, like all vampires do. We know that, right? I mean, that's clear at this point, right? This is public. <laughs> this is a public podcast. Don't look there. at me when you say that. 
Dude, don't, don't do that. I mean, you are looking a little bit rejuvenated since the last time I saw you. You got like this glow about you. Your hair is different. It's called You're empty balls. Yeah. I've been, By the way, let's talk about your band real quick. I've hold been, on, I've been hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we 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 end this podcast here, I want to talk about Never Say Never. Yeah. Has been fucking absolutely killing it, man. We you guys really have been have. you guys have been all over the fucking place recently. Yeah, and you guys have been pulling in some crowds. Yeah, it's been fun, man. It's been really fun, man. Yeah, and it's funny because, like I said before, it was it's a cover band, you know. So we went, we departed from all of our original stuff just to do covers. And um, after COVID, everybody kind of wanted that. And look, we, we, we're having a lot of fucking fun. And I'll tell you what. Dude, you look like you're having a fucking blast on stage. When you did the fucking cover of, I think it was uh, Black Crows. Yeah. Or, or, or maybe it was a County Crows. I can't remember. It was we one of the Crows. Black Crows, yeah. Black, Black yeah. Crows. Yeah. And you were fucking doing the whole thing on stage. And you were super animated. I was like, that's a fucking show. Yeah. Like, that's what you want. It would like, especially with that music. Yeah, and so that's yeah. I I I I, don't, I never leave a show without bruises or bru- I, I've been bleeding. I've been I break mic stands. I mean, like it's fucking it, it, it's, dude. It was it's, it's fun. It seemed like a really good. But time. I will say this. So because of that, uh, and and we we've been you know we've been successful. Um, we've been asked to uh, a roundabout way to do a tribute band. So my next project that I'm working on now is I'm gonna be Scott fucking Wyland. In uh, in an SDP tribute. Are you band. fucking kidding me? Not kidding. And we're gonna do it for real. And we're really. Getting, we're, and, and there's sponsorship probably coming. And there's um, we you know we we have. Is this with the guys? The is this with the same guys from? So it's the same band except for a different drummer. Uh, you know, because the drummer that we have in the other band wasn't really interested in doing the Stone Temple Pilots thing. So, so yeah. So, so wait, I are you guys gonna be touring like, like the. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I know that, like, acts like the spasmatics or whatever, right? They're like, yeah. you know, these tribute bands that, like, essentially travel the country That's doing that. Is, that. is that what you're looking to do with yeah. the SCP thing? And Bobby, the bass player in our band, uh, has already done this. He's done it. He's done a Dio tribute band. He's done right, a bunch right, of, right, right, right. So he's already kind of, he, you know, so, yeah, what we're doing is we're kind of forming it in a way that we're going to be able to do that. That's going to, that, that's going to. Be a much you know more what you want? you want? You want that Las Vegas act. Yeah, you know, it'd be, it'd be fun <laughs> to do that. And I think it's in our wheelhouse because we, we've been practicing lately and it's just, it feels right. And and the way that I am on stage is already kind of like... It's Scott very... I, I, that's, I, it's, yeah. it's not... It's, it's, I, I was going to say, like, you're... I, I, from what I've seen on the videos, okay? Yeah. Uh, it, you're... And I wish I could go out to a live show, but, you know, you know the situation. <laughs> uh, but you're super animated you're it's it's very it's it's very 90s in the sense that like the band is making everything happen right and you're part of the band and so when you're not singing or even when you're singing you're you're using your body as like an instrument for everything that's happening on stage it's super cool i've 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 totally dug watching the videos man i appreciate i'm really happy for you guys that i i've the your voice is awesome. The band sounds great. You guys are killing those fucking. I I talked to you about it the other the last time. Like, how do you fucking remember a hundred songs? You know, from you yeah. know that like a playlist. You're you're basically playing four sets, right? Yeah, three the, to four sets, hour long each. Hour long yeah. each. Like, well, I mean, I have my I mean, phone. You know. I mean, I have to be fair. I have my phone with with lyrics up there just in case. But the idea is, you know, you know, you don't want to be reading it the entire fucking time. You have to know, you know. Every once in a while, you know, especially if I'm fucking, if I fucking, like, like there was a couple shows ago, I jump up and the ceiling happened to be a little lower than I thought. And I jumped up <laughs> and tried to fucking do a punch in the sky and I split my shit. And I, like, I see that fucking scar, no, right? I nice. split it and it was just bleeding and I'm just, you know. So in those cases, I might want to look back at a lyric or two, <laughs> you know, just, uh, <laughs> just to just remind comment, me where I'm at. Just calm it down a bit. Just to remind me where I'm at, yeah. But thank you, man. I appreciate no, that. Man. That's Listen, praise, man. man. I appreciate I've, that. I've, you know me, man. I fucking I love you, and I and and I want the best for you, and I and I love the fact that you're doing, you know that the that the band the is taking off. I love you, and uh, that Ooh. you guys are doing great things, man. It sounded like you my know? girlfriend. <laughs> that voice. Who is who is that? Shh. Who is? Don't that? worry about it, doc. Who That's the spirit of the podcast. That's the spirit <laughs> of the podcast. <laughs> Don't worry about that it. That was a that was a very familiar voice. Like who the fuck was that? I love that. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Okay. Get cheaters in here. Welcome to From Shrooms to Skyrim with Matthew and Hiram. Speaking of freedom of speech, yeah. Uh oh. There's a uh so against some of the the biggest rap artists in the world, right? 
uh, in Georgia, they brought a RICO case. Oh yeah, against uh, saw that members of YSO, uh, notably Young, Young Thug, Thug and Gunna. So I just saw Gunna a few days earlier, right? At yeah, the club? yeah, yeah. He he was he was performing there. <clears throat> I like. He was the he turned himself in on like Monday, but he was like he was the last person to be arrested. Like I'm pretty sure he was like did uh the performance our venue and then like he went back to the you know Atlanta. And knowing right. that he was gonna go turn himself in. So what's the case? It, it's a Rico case. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but so like, what what is it involved? You know, it's a bunch of so stuff it's a, invo- yeah, it's all put together. But, but um it's like going back years, like apparently they've been but you know, like that's still in motion. No one knows how it's gonna play out. Uh, but I was gonna say, just in regards to freedom of speech, um, like there, there's no other genre where where they will try to use uh, your songs, the lyrics of your songs, against you in court. You know, for criminal charges. But what are the criminal charges? So I understand because I, I know nothing about this. What like are the actual like, charges? Like, you know, like there's, like specifically like Young Thug might be charged with like two counts or something, Gunner with one. But, you know, like with Rico, that's like. It's, it's, no, it's a it, culmination of right. a lot of things. You're yeah. you're charged with what everybody's charged Correct. with. Everybody's. A, and it's like, so, you know, as far as but like. is it murder? Is it, is it. I mean, like there's. Conspiracy? Yes. Like there's, there's. <laughs> yes. There's, just there's hard, murders hard yes. attached to it. But like, it's, okay. it's, a, it's a matter of determining like whether. They were involved. You know, in like that. like the whole that whole thing is like I'm not read up on it. I don't Okay, know. fair enough. Yeah, but the but, free uh, speech thing. But so so Killer Mike, uh who I fucking love that guy. I love, love that, that guy, dude. Uh shared this book on his Instagram. He said, I encourage all artists to read this book, especially rappers. If we are the prey, don't let the hunt be an easy one for the enemy. Love and respect. Protect yourself with knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And the book is uh, race lyrics and guilt in America. Yeah. Rap on trial. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but but it, but, uh, but 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 one has it not been. Yeah. And well, one has it not been. When has uh, what not been? What? Well, one has rap not been on trial, bro. You're I, no, you're, but no, but you're, like you're, no, you're but talking. No, you're talking no. to two people who like in this county. No, alone, but Hiram is like is literally on trial. That's what uh, I'm saying. Well, what I'm telling you is it's a literally free speech has literally been on trial already at the Supreme Court level. Over rap, two live crew. Yeah, like I'm not saying this is a new thing, right? I just, but what I'm saying is, is like NWA? it's a, <laughs> yeah, NWA. I mean, well, but, but so the the thing that I found out because uh, I didn't know this. Apparently, Gunner's real name is Sergio Kitchens, <laughs> and my only question is, why did he ever need a new name, <laughs> Sergio Kitchens? Yo. Sergio Cocina. <laughs> Sergio Cocina. Dale. Like, especially like Fuck, fucking like rapping, you know, you're fucking rapping about fucking uh, selling drugs and cooking you're up dope kitchen. in the kitchen. Like Sergio Kitchens. Yeah. That, that, Yo. that sounds like the moniker right there. Serving your kitchens, dude. You know what I'm saying? Like Sergio Kitchens. Oh, man. And now That's a great name. And he's gonna. That's a great name. Like that is a great name. Is he gonna like G U N N A or like yeah. G O N N A? Like I'm gonna. Yeah, like G U. Uh, okay. <laughs> like, like I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Or wanna. Uh. But so the, the only thing I know about Rico is what I saw in Sons of Anarchy. But um, <laughs> I just have. I just. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best shit ever. <laughs> Yo, that's literally like. The only thing I know about Rico is what I saw in Sons of Anarchy. <laughs> so and like, it did not look good. So, it did not look good. So, like, when I saw Rico in the headline, I'm like, oh, man, just like that time in I Suns can't. when they were I'm trying dead. to when they were trying to get the... Is Opie okay? I'm is dead. Opie okay? Is Opie going to be okay? <laughs> poor Opie. Oh, poor... Let me tell you something, bro. But, but no, I was going to say... I've the, never the shit, cried the shit like that was, Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Cried. Tears. Yo, when, Tears. He, when he died I mean, dude, fighting in prison... Are you kidding me, bro? You know, because they had are to kill him off. Me, He'd been through are you so much me, personal bro? trauma. There was nothing else. Dude. It's it's literally it's literally the saddest death 
in TV Not history. Not the saddest to death. Me. It's the saddest life when oh Tig killed oh. his wife in the back oh. of the head because oh. he did oh. it. Just did. At the, the end of season one? From Clay. At the end of season one, bro? Come on, man. I like what you did there. It's oh, the man. saddest life. I like mm. what you did there. Oh, man. It's fucking true. Hard. But, but the thing is, I just happened to see the like the interview of, I guess she's one of the prosecutors, the lead prosecutors. I'm not informed. I'm not up to date. Don't ask me for the details. Like it, it literally <laughs> seemed. I, I learned from, I I learned from TV. I, I don't. I don't know anything. No, but, she, but she, here's she, like, what I do know. Like, like they were asking. You know, the reporters were asking questions. Like I don't know if she's the lead or just one of. You know what I'm saying? But it it was literally like it was written for a TV show. It was so uh like not sensational. Dun, but dun. Dun, 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 dun. Because look, because <laughs> this is what she said. What I'll tell you is that as large as this indictment is, I told my team, let's not be sexy. Let's not overreach. Let's be conservative in our approach, which is always the approach that I take. And in taking that approach, 28 defendants, and in taking that approach, 28 defendants were indicted. As soon as, as, soon as she said, let's not be sexy, let's overreach, I was like, if that bitch was prosecuting me, I'd be fucking scared. Okay, she she seems like she's about. I'm gonna business. tell you. I'm gonna tell you right now. First of all, you should be scared. Period. If the government comes after you with Rico, you're That's, you're done already. If they you're already if, done. if they get you if they get you for yeah. one, I just if really, they get I just, you if jaywalking is part of the charge. I just really like if they get you for one. They get you for all. I dude. just really like that line when she was like. I told my team, let's not be sexy. sexy. Let's not overrate. <laughs> let's not be sexy. You know, we're going to. I'm like, yo, she fucking means business. Dude. So. <laughs> so. I'm a little turned on right now just talking about business. it. It's business. So. It's business. I got. I got a legal chub. <laughs> I was watching. I was watching the military Wait, hold channel. On. Oh, oh. I was watching the military channel. What the on, fuck is the military channel? It's like one of the channels on like uh, uh, direct TV. You know, you like you get like a million channels, right? They probably was, get themselves on the military. Yeah, and so I was watching the military channel, and they were talking about the ten deadliest missiles, right? And like number seven was like this Israeli missile. Wait, Hiram. And they had, wait, hold on, hold on. They had this Israeli guy talking about, it, and he was like, he's like, look at this missile. It's beautiful. It's sleek. It's sexy. And I'm like. Did this guy just say that the missile was sexy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, that somehow yeah. makes a difference. Ooh, sexy ass <laughs> like, missile. Does that make the price of the missile go up if it's sexy? Yeah, well, look, I mean, when, I, when I say I got I got a legal chub. Oh, do you have a legal chub? Instead of how when Eminem goes, da doing, 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 it goes, <laughs> dun, dun. That's a good one. You like that? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Spot on. <laughs> <laughs> Validation <laughs> all the way around. Validation all the way around. Good for you, man. Good for you. Oh, listen. This has been fun. So abortion, right? No. <laughs> oh, my God. Listen, I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> we're, we've, we're already so Am over, I right? over, over, over the threshold. Abortion. Why? Like, I just don't even understand. Am I like, right? Are we, are we, are, why are we having this conversation? Why are we having this conversation? Like, this is so, oh, my God. I feel, I feel a weird thing happening in this country, my boys. I feel a weird thing happening in this country. Let's see what happens. They're just taking people's rights away, man. Left, right, and center. Like, if a baby is God's will, then so is impotence. Dude, uh, <laughs> you if, know, and if, we and we fund if God, Viagra. If God matters, then God actually did the first abortion by killing his fucking son, Jesus. So he's obviously for it. Just saying. Ah, damn. Well, I mean, that, he was 30-something years old, so that was kind of late in the term. That's, that's a very late, late term. That's, that's the most late, late term. term. That's that the is the most term late term. term. That's actually called murder. Well, I don't know. That's kind of counterintuitive because then he brought him back. So why Did why does, did he, though? Why did, why did can't, he, though? Hey, why can't Jesus eat M&Ms? Because they're going to fall through. <laughs> Ooh, oh, <laughs> that's, that's dark. You're going oh, to hell. You're going to hell. 
That's not yeah, even, but you said it. You were thinking you know, it. You, know, you like, said it. That's not even true because when he got nailed, he got nailed in his, in his wrist. He didn't get oh, it because the, the metatorium. Oh, yeah, you can't God. you can't hang on a cross from here. We'll just no, I off. get it. You got to hang on a cross from here. We have our ex- we have our expert we sucks. have our expert witness on the stand. Okay, yo, no, a- anatomically right here. <laughs> right here. Our crucifixion expert has uh, yeah. decided that that's not going to fly. Torture's cool. <laughs> Can you hit me with a da <laughs> one more time? I just want to hear it. Oh, so good. Matt, did you see Stop. what happened? You violated the law. Pay the court a fine or serve your sentence. Your stolen goods are now forfeit. <laughs> okay. Jesus. All right, fine. All Who right, man. Me? Matt, did you see what happened to Doctor Strange? To him? Well, the movie. What? So, uh... It went, it lost, I think, 86% from week one to week two, which is like the largest drop ever for a Marvel movie. Why do you think that is? I I don't know. I, I don't know if it's because everybody already went to go see it week one. Twice. Yeah. Oh, I don't, I don't know. Is it good? I mean, it's already, well, yeah. it's phenomenal. And it already, it's already made a hundred million dollars. I, I find it interesting to find out what's going to happen now that the movie dropped so much and there is no China market for it. So you want to know something interesting? You remember when Professor X came out? Mm-hmm. And you remember the music that played? Yeah. What music was that? Well, it was kind of the 97 or the the X-Men animated. It was, you say it was kind of? Yeah. So X-Men 92, right? Uh-huh. That's the series. Right. The music is credited X-Men 97. Right. So, you know, because they're, they're rebooting the series. So I think that could be like an interesting tidbit. That they're bringing with the series. The- no, like it's in terms of like tie-ins or whatever. Because like if, it, if they were saying, okay, like this is the from X-Men 92, but it, you know, right. like they the details specific- matter right. like. They put and they 90, credited that in 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 the credits at the end. Yeah, scene. like it's credited yeah, X Men ninety seven. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I saw that. I saw that. Um, that's interesting. Now that I think about it, I didn't even think about it when I saw it. But you're right. Um, I, I, I really think that this whole thing that they're doing is all going to tie in. Um, I heard Krasinski now is in the lead to direct the Fantastic Four movie. Um, that they're going to do, but apparently that's not part of phase four. Like that's part of phase five. Like, you know, so we'll see what happens. I mean, I mean it's, it's I mean, very interesting. It's fine. Was with phase five, phase five going to be 2023, right? It makes sense. I'm, yeah. End of 2023, I think, because I think phase four, f- phase four ends with black Panther. Uh, okay. So, See what happens. Maybe they introduce Neymar. You mean no more? No more. Whatever. Damn. Damn. Whatever, bro. I've had a little too much to drink. I see that. Fuck you. I really haven't had too much to drink, by the way. I'm fine. I know. All right. <laughs> don't don't shame me right now publicly. It hurts my feelings. <laughs> I have a problem. Speaking about Neymar, the World Cup is this year. Oh shit! It is. The U.S. is in the World Cup this Fuck year. Fuck yeah, they are. Huh? Look U.S. shark. What do you think? Stop, Sweet 16? <laughs> no? I don't know. I don't know. No? I, I don't know shit about soccer. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, a, I'm a fan every four years. <laughs> My daughter is really good at it, though. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. The weeds attacks. Oh, nice. yeah. Yeah. Uh, I like it. So I, I saw something in the nose. Goodwill executives, okay, make in the mid six figures, while the workers still get twelve fifty five an hour. Yeah, and in California, they announced that they would have to cut a hundred job training positions if a local measure to raise the minimum wage right. passed. Wow, 
And the CEO of one branch told disabled workers they were getting fired after a minimum wage hike. Right. So. Yeah. <laughs> they couldn't just take from the top. Right. And distribute it back to the bottom. They couldn't do that because those people, they, they need well, to do that. I feel like it's so, do that. like, why is everyone against wages going up? Yeah, Because, well, because, because as it is, the the wages are already not keeping up with the inflation. Well, it hasn't been for. You know whose wages, <laughs> you know who's wages still keep, keep being and fuck inflated? Are the CEOs. people at the top, man. And that's the thing is that, like, you can't. That's why this whole universal basic income thing actually, I think, is 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 plausible. Uh, for these reasons, right? I, I think that there's there's some issues with it, but if for these particular reasons, if you if if everybody had a thousand dollars a month or whatever the fuck it is, right, just for simply being an American, it would displace or it would it would it would uh, it would uh, it would make it so that these types of situations could be mitigated, right? Again, it's not foolproof. Uh, I saw I saw Hiram shaking his yeah, head. Yeah, why, 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 why are you shaking yeah. your head? Okay, because it uh, it doesn't work as easy as that. And well, I'll, and I'll let tell you, me, and I'll tell you why, and I'll tell you why, and I'll tell you why. It's yeah. simply because the government has to be involved, and once the government is involved in this whole situation, it becomes I'd a rather the government be involved in this situation, okay, than the private company doing the thing that he just here's talked the about. thing. That's what that's that's, you know. that's where that's where government comes into play. Correct. Okay. The reason why we have a forty hour work week. That's the right. The reason why we have Weekends? child labor laws, okay, is right. not because companies that's oppose correct. those on themselves. Correct. It is because the government said this is what is legally allowed. This is literally where I was going. Okay. So you're you you get out of okay. my head. <laughs> it's perfect. Hey, so what's what's the exactly what's right. the mayor of Miami's name? Uh Suarez. 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 Fuck that guy. Uh, well, you know what he said is, you know, in regards to uh you know the rent going crazy how it is? Yeah, the reason why I can't stay in this fucking town anymore? He said, you know, just find another place to live. Oh, of course. Or yeah. get a higher paying job. Right. Because it's that simple, Hiram. Of course. Right. Why didn't I think right. of that? Right. 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 So Or if you don't I have abortions have, I, available to I you, have, move I've, to another state. So <laughs> So I just I'll I'm just gonna speak from my my simple point of view as as a person, I have a very good paying job in the state of Florida. Period. Okay, and I had a very good paying job in Miami up until 2021. Okay, and now because of everything that has happened and because of everything that's been allowed to happen, okay, because of our corrupt politicians, mm -hmm. okay, I can no longer afford to live in Miami. Not because I don't have a job, not because I'm a shitless layabout, not because I'm not a good person, what not because I don't a, contribute to society. What if you had $1,000 a month extra? Would if help? I had $1,000 a month extra, it would help. Okay. But you know what? The so truth of the matter the is, but here's the truth. But the truth of the matter is, then everything else would be more expensive. Well, that 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 is, again, it's not foolproof. Then everything else would be more expensive. It's not expensive. foolproof, but you have... We're, we're, we're in a situation, we're in a situation where the politicians of... This town specifically mm. are not sticking up. <laughs> They're not sticking up for. They're not sticking up for the people that work here, man. The people, that, the people that will, the people that resided here before 2020. Okay, the people that, the people that are are the heart and soul of the city that work every day and are municipalities. Okay, that <laughs> go to school every day and teach our fucking kids. No, man, I'm being fucking honest, dude. Okay, the fucking Munich bussers, the bussers, okay, and, no, and, and, and the waiters and the bartenders, they are not being fucking reasonable, okay, nope. and allowing what is allowing to happen in this town right now, okay, they're pushing all of them out, mm -hmm. pushing all of those people out. It's like that South Park episode. The shitty people are coming in. And if the shitty people come in, then there'll always there'll just be shitty people here. And then all of you, everybody else will leave. And then we'll be Look, stuck I, with all the shitty people. And well, on, that's what's happening, on, bro. On We're that turning note, into New York, man. I guess, I, I guess the time to make that, that formal announcement. Oh, dude. I did just do that, didn't I? Ooh. Hiram is taking a brief uh, leave of absence from the show. Sabbatical Ooh. Ooh. from the show. Elsewhere. No, I'm not taking my talents anywhere else. I'm not taking my talents anywhere else. My he's, talents will always stay with he's, from Shrooms he's to Skyrim. He's anti-LeBron, and he's taking his talents away from South Beach. I am taking Ooh. my talents away from South Beach. Taking his talents. 
I am moving away, and I am sorry, and we're still going to make it work for all those diehards out there. What? Yeah. And for all those. In the the next coming weeks and months, uh, we're going to be figuring uh, some things out on the logistics side of things. You'll be seeing a different format for the show moving forward. How about that? Because there's some really cool stuff happening for the podcast across the board, even with me being gone. We're... We have some stuff that we're going to bring to the audience when it's ready, uh, but it's going to be great. And the podcast is going to move forward. We have strong fan base. We have strong friends that support the show and will be here and uh, help Matthew pick up the slack while I'm gone. Hell yeah. Because unfortunately, oh, side note, also having another baby. Uh, oh. <laughs> I will be missing from the show sometimes, not all the time. All right. There it is. I love all of you. This has been one of the funnest things I've ever done with my life, and I will continue to keep doing it with my fucking friends. Oh, yeah. And I love Matthew. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. And I can't wait to fucking take from Shrooms to Skyrim to the next level, big dog. Let's go! Bitches! That was beautiful. You're beautiful. <laughs> Is that how you feel? That's how I feel, bro. Shit I'll be my, honest with you. You just shit. If you know what you just did? You just took an amber turd on my bed. You took an amber grumpy, turd on a, my bed. A you grumpy. Said, this is literally human feel like on my heart. My 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 corazón was on that mattress and it was open and you pooped right into my corazón. And now I'm going to die. That's my toxic love for you. That's <laughs> uh, Also, in, re- in related news, <laughs> more changes coming to the podcast. <laughs> uh, we are changing locations because I'm also moving. <laughs> See, it wasn't just me. <laughs> Oh, oh here's so I, I will I'll no longer uh, be able to do it in my living room. <laughs> since this will no longer be my living room. <laughs> you know what Hiram said to me one day? What did I say to you, man? He said af- after he, because uh, I happen to have my bed not fully made up. <laughs> and he's like, you want to know why you don't have a girlfriend? Because you have fucking... Deadpool pillowcases. <laughs> but that's not true. Yeah. That's partially true. He's like, anybody that your fucking living room doesn't scare away if they make it this far. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, the tripods, the tripods are going to scare people away. Dude. I think that's worse. Yeah, 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 the yeah, tripods yeah, are definitely, yeah. they're like, what the fuck? You got a three camera setup? What's going on here? Yeah. <laughs> what, what are we filming? You know, and you got a couch, you know. Animals. I just thought I was wearing a bikini. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Like five guys waiting. <laughs> guys gone nuts. <laughs> and I'm not talking Uber Eats. <laughs> Maybe somebody eats. Are you doing <laughs> Is that a bit? <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> See, we are not the ones uh to talk about civil rights. Ooh. Aren't we though? <laughs> <laughs> you see that that right there is protected. Freedom of speech. <laughs> The click commando. Come bubbles. You see this face? You think a clit. You ever see that? You ever see the fucking you ever see Jane Silent I mean, Bob strike your, back? Your head is shaped for vaginal penetration. <laughs> this is true. Wow. You are aerodynamically shaped. You have the snobs for maximal clitoral stimulation. I'm not. I will neither confirm nor deny yep. that I have I have incorporated that your face, into the arsenal. Your face is like those two pronged dildos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah.
I wish I could do the I dream a genie thing with my nose. Oh, wow. The <sighs> Sandbar, Coconut Grove, home so of the motherfucking fish talk. I'm going to put a poll on Instagram because uh, we have an actual studio we're going to. Oh, my God. Getting it set up. Dude, wait till you see this fucking place. You and guys have no fucking idea what's coming at you guys with our fucking new studio. It is banging, banging, 100%. Just like a night here with the three tripods, you have no idea what's coming at you. <laughs> I might tickle your asshole with my big fuck nose, apparently. <laughs> fuck nose! <laughs> <laughs> it's like a it, it's you know it's it's my second appendage <laughs> bam you know bam we, give we, it to you fuck a luff again we should <laughs> <laughs> we, sh- we should we should make a plaster <laughs> and then 3d print i'm in masks i'm uh, in i'm in i can, i'm in i could use I'm in. that i'm in you had me at plaster <laughs> you had me at plaster so Gra- Say goodbye, Groucho Marx. <laughs> These are the, the Hiram Cubas. That's it right there. Look at that thing, dude. Look. So my buddy Adam used to tell me, he was like, dude, he was like, look, whenever you get fucking down upon, uh, about your nose, he's like, I just want you to think about something. He's like, all those fucking Greek and Roman statues you see. Yeah. He's like, look at the <laughs> fucking size of the nose of those motherfuckers. Okay, he's like, yeah. you got a Greek Roman nose. Yeah. All right. You got a fucking schnoz. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? It's old world, okay? It's powerful, okay? It's old world. Yeah, old world. Oh, my, my nose is old world. All so right. I am going to have a poll to name the new butt? studio. What? That was, oh, that was good. I didn't get it at first. I was like, poll in my butt. But then I was like, oh, poll, poll in my butt. In my butt. <laughs> So what's a new what's what are what are we so I'm we're gonna, gonna leave I'm, it up to the fans. I'm gonna no, I'm gonna have two options and then what are the and, options? Or you could also fucking mail it in. What are the options? Tell the tell the fans we want to know. And then if if enough options get mailed in, I'll have another poll with those options listed, you know. The poll could go on forever. So there's only gonna be <laughs> Mac- <laughs> the one for the name or the oh. one in my butt? Zing. Both. Zing. <laughs> Get it. So option number one. Option number one, folks. Dragon Spore Studio. Dragon Spore Studios. Hit him with a Dragon Spore. Oh, it's not Well, that's not. Option number two. Level up. Oh no, that's this one. Option number two. The mush room. Studios. So that that is clearly my front runner so far. Okay, what else? That's it. That's the one. That's all we got. That's the one. Yeah. The mush. The mush. Room? The mush. The mush. I really? told you. Mush I told you. The mush. That's what I, but is. I told him. I told him that. See, thank you guys. No, I told him. I said the mush room. The mush room is just fucking perfect. It's per- it's, it's, it's exact, perfect. It's exactly it's perfect. What it should be. But yeah, I no love dragon spores so much. I'll give you is. dragon spores all over your face, big dog. You want dragon is. spores? I got dragon spores for days. I don't, you want, know it. You I don't, I don't want it anymore. <laughs> you decorate the inside of the mush room with dragon spores. All right. Well, you get the best of both it's worlds. funny you say that. Wait till you see what the inside of the studio looks like. Because it is. Dude, you have no fucking idea. You w- wait till you come and see the fucking studio. The studio is banging. Where we have, where where Matt Matt got the place. The fucking just just the lobby itself has a fucking vibe. Just the lobby, and then you get into the fucking studio space. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. You the the audience is gonna love it. You guys are gonna love it. It's great. I fucks with it. From stream subscriber, well, bitches. Says I know you're not on Instagram. I will I will dutifully tally your vote. But everyone else has to vote on the poll on Instagram. Or, I mean, you could just DM me. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's the mushroom. But Matt, Matt just wants it's people to DM him. That's what it is. He just wants people to direct message Yo, you, him. You should. Hey, guys. My name's Matt. <laughs> and if you could please direct message me at From Shrooms. If you don't want to direct Instagram, message me, backdoor, be great. Direct, backdoor message. Back, backdoor. Um, 
I'm also on. Here's the thing. I, I, don't, I already get a lot of DMs, okay? And I love them. Keep them coming. Oh, we'll keep them coming. All right, big boy. Get that pull. I get that pull. And we're just going to keep it coming. <laughs> just that, just you on a pole like Anakin riding a lightsaber. It's just going to be sweet. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh. He'll be there, Lord. too, with his holes in his hands and all. Oh. It'll be sweet. Oh. With his holes in his hands. That's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hell. I mean. <laughs> Not the hands, it's the wrist. Yeah, we, 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 we've cleared this up. We're, we're, we're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey's like, we've been over this. Hey, what are we doing here now? What are we doing? What are we doing? Give, give it the program. From shrooms to sky. 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 Oh, man.